another quality is free will. Like this soul has free, its own free will. Most parents have a lot of trouble when we start talking about this in a practical sense. Because they say, oh, do you... Like I was talking to someone a few weeks ago. And might have been someone in this audience, I can't remember now. But and they were moving and they moved to an upper level and there was a... Oh, that's right, it was someone down at Port Macquarie. And, uh, and the lady was yelling at the child to not fall off the balcony, right? Because it was on a second level apartment and they were just moving in and the child had climbed up on some boxes staring over and, you know, was peering over the guardrail of the balcony. But she was yelling at the child right at the same time. So, firstly, that child has free will. It can do whatever it wants. Secondly, you yelling at it has just broken a law of God. A projection of anger at the child has just broken a law of God. So there must be a better way to handle it, right, than that. And there is, of course, and we'll talk about that a bit later. But can you see how we can quite easily, just because we're afraid of something happening, influence the free will of our child straight away? We often do that in our interaction with our children. And yet, what are we meant to be teaching them? Free will. We're meant to be teaching them how to exercise their free will and then what do we do? We curb it rather than actually work with it. And that, so that's something later you'll see that's really important in, in this process.